Hi, I'm Mike Casey, and thanks for coming back for another edition of Scaling Green's Communicating Energy Lecture Series. This is the Clean Economy's ongoing conversation at the intersection of media and marketing and policy. And with us today is Richard Caperton. He is a nationally recognized energy finance expert from the prominent think tank, Center for American Progress. Okay, here's what I call the toll question. Are you aware of a comprehensive inventory of all the ways in which we cut a welfare check to these highly profitable fossil fuel incumbent sectors? They're the things that are easy to track, uh, the tax benefits, and even those are a little bit hard. MLP treatment for fossil fuels costs us one and a half billion dollars a year. So it's, it's not a small number. That's a, a lot of money that we're just giving away to these people and only giving it to them. And there's no inherent reason that it should only be for fossil fuels. Uh, it just makes perfect sense to make it uh, work for all the energy sectors. And the oil companies have a, a liability cap on how much they owe when they have a spill or some sort of disaster. They can only be forced to pay up to $75 million for those damages. And who pays for the rest of the cleanup? The taxpayers. So let's be clear. Uh, the biggest thing that we have that gives an unfair advantage to fossil fuels is not pricing their emissions. They get to spew pollution into the air that hurts all of us, and they don't pay anything for it. We pay for it through our hospital bills, um, but they don't pay for it. If we don't do anything for that, uh, we're never going to have a level playing field. Now, if we do price the carbon, then we should think about all the other tax incentives. You know, fossil fuels still get billions and billions of dollars in tax advantages every single year, and they also need to be gotten rid of. Has anybody actually got the number or the inventory? Yes and no. Um, some people have done a very, very good job with it, but not in the last few years. There's a venture capital firm out of the Bay Area did a report called What Would Jefferson Do? that looked at historic spending in the fossil fuel sector and the nuclear sector and the renewable sector, splitting out, I think, ethanol from renewable power, like wind and solar. Mm. And they found that fossil fuels had gotten, and I think the number is right, $80 of support for every $1 that renewables had gotten.